Hi everyone. Right, I've not been in touch for a while because I've been really busy and I've had my daughter home, so I took a little break. Now, let's see. Um, I don't know if you remember, I made this bag out of the fabric that was sent me. So um, I'm going to be doing a little giveaway, I think. Uh, and I will fill it up with some goodies. So I'll think about doing that later on because I'll have to think about what can I do for the give, uh, the giveaway, for what reason. Now, th these came today. And the cuffs. You know, what you can attach to jumpers or whatever you want to put them on. And I've already cut mine up. Because I thought what a great idea they would be to make a cuff... Um, you know, like the one, let me just find what I've done with mine. See, like that cuff, what I've, I'm working on. Uh, and I just thought, for you get two for the price of one. <laughs> you know, for the size of them, you get two for the price of one. And instead of having to have all this messing about, they just slip them on. Because you can cover this with lace and that. And you can do it that way. Can't you? I mean, I could even open that up for that one. This one I could make into two. Look, I could make three, actually. And if I cut this, I could make four. So for the price, you get eight cuffs for the price of one, basically. That's what I'm saying. See what I mean? I could now snip. In fact, I, I might do. Because you don't need... Let me just see what the light for on. That's all you need. All you need is that. So I'm not going to waste mine. I am definitely going to cut it. And gives me four that I can use now and turn them into something. And then I've got that one left as well if I want to do it um, the same. Which I will do at some point. So that's put that to one side. Move my cuff. Um, I've got some of these to go on the website. The handmade flowers, double layers. Triple layers actually. Because this one's the top one's folded in half. Uh, gathered, they're all ready. They can go on headbands or pins or whatever you want to put them on. So they're going on the shop. I'm just going to take a photograph of those. Uh, at the moment, my hands aren't too bad. I have actually tried... Um, you can see it's gone down an awful lot. It was quite, quite swollen, but it's gone down a lot. So, um, what was I going to do? I needed to make a... Um, a bow so what I'm going to do now I'm glad I rested to be honest and my hands do feel a little bit better I, I don't know how long they'll last <laughs> but I'm just going to do a bow I need to do a bow and I may I may do so I want one about that wide yeah so I've got my glue gun on and I might do a double bow, to be honest. It's windy as hell outside. I did hear a little bit of a storm. I don't know whether it's going to continue. All right, this is a four-inch wide uh, ribbon. I don't need that piece, but I'm going to do a double bow. So I do need to set my needle up. Just get some... Oh, I've got some on it. Silly owl. Some thread. Like that. Yeah, I've had two complete rest days of my hands. And I've had them soaking in um, cold water. <laughs> you know, iced water, just to try and get the swelling down. But then I add from cold water to heat, um, hot water to um, warm them back up because I'm bloody cold. Anyway. Oh, come on, don't do this to me now. There we go. Did I do that one? Yeah. So I'm just going to fold that over like that. And then do that. Hopefully. That's about right. Oops. No, it's not. <laughs> do it over that way, then I can see. Let's fold that down. I just want to make sure I have that right. Okay. So I'm just going to do a little tacking stitch here. Oh, 
which will be hidden once the um, I've covered it. Then a running stitch. I'm let go of that. That's it. Yeah. Then a running stitch right the way up the middle. Like that. No. I know I don't know whether I want to do that now. Let me just see. No, that'll do. It's a broad ribbon. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I'll manage that. Oh my. Oh, I've bent my needle. Now, why is that happening? Let me just get my pliers because I can't I can't have that doing that. I don't know why that's done that. Hmm. Well, obviously it's not been able to go through what I uh, want it to go through, but it shouldn't have bent like that. It's quite a strong needle. Hmm. I'll have to see. So I'm just going back and forth through that. That'll do. We don't need to do much. That wind's really, really bad. Really bad. I'm just hoping my fence stays up. Being schnook if it doesn't. <coughs> There we go. So I've got that. Um, now, that's it, I think. I wanted to put one of these on. Yeah, I like that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. That's what I wanted to do. I thought I'd put it out ready for me. Well, maybe not. But anyway, so what I'm going to do now is just add... like that because it has to hold it firm and it, you're not going to see this um yes that's it beautiful so i've shown you how to make these and we do sell all the ribbons for it but i'm going to put that on a head slide a headband no not a headband fiona on one of these it just needs to go on on that and the way I'm going to do that is take some felt like that. I'm going to do it that way, I think. Now, just to turn that over. See, you won't see any of that when it's uh, on properly. But I do have to add this. like that you might do all of this differently but I'm just doing it this way so that goes on there and then I'm going to pin that on just pin that on like that And then I have to add a little bit of felt that will go across it. Right. That should be all right, actually. Yeah, let that dry. Just let that dry. I am going to... Um, just add a touch of felt. Hopefully it's dried enough that goes in there. Oops, sorry. Like that. Just sit that in there. It won't hurt the teeth. The teeth can show through and still grip your hair. 
What's it? Isn't that gorgeous? They do look really, really pretty. Uh, they do look pretty. That will look great in anybody's hair. So we're going to make something similar. It may turn out slightly different, but uh, that's the sort of thing. Now I've got this. I'll measure this for you. I've cut this at 32 centimetres. So it's 32 centimetres. Just use your lighter to seal off the ends. Cross that over about half an inch. Set that in the middle. Have I knotted mine yet? Yeah. Go to the end, do a tacking stitch. Okay, like that. Make sure it crosses properly. And then what you're going to do is a running stitch straight down the middle. Like that. Pull it tight and you can go back through. You can also wrap it round and then go back through. We'll see. Let's do that. Like that. I'm going to do it one way, then the other, and then start. Pull it tight and wrap around. Just a few times and then go back through like that and once more through this side that's it that's all you need to do I get myself some fresh thread that's it, that's fine you can pull that open like that now I just need to put a little bit of um, felt on there Like that. I think I will just round it off a little bit. Just round the edges off so it's like an oval. Like that. And we just quickly pop that on there. That's fine like that. Don't worry about this section at all. That's fine. Just going to get the pin. I'm sorry. Yeah, so here we go. It's just one of those crop clips. I know you can hear the wind outside. Let me just do it that way. It's really strong, is that wind? Very strong. Take a piece of felt. Right, and then all I'm going to do is open the crop, uh, crop clip up. It's not quite ready, but don't worry about it. Open that up. Put that underneath. Like that. We can shave anything off we don't want, but I don't think we're going to need to. I don't worry about that. It will still clip onto whatever you want it to clip onto, hair or whatever. That's fine. So that's prepared the clip. So now what I need is a piece of fabric. Right, so I've got a piece of this, which is called crinoline. Just cut a piece out that I need. I don't use a lot of it, you don't need much, it's just so that everything stays on it. 
Right, now, I'm going to use the gross grain. I, I'm going to use the cream, I think. Let me use the cream one. Use the cream one, which is half an inch wide. So we're making the central flower to start with. So we're going to do this one, but I'm not going to use uh, the pink. I'm, I'm using all cream here at the moment. Now, I'm going to start off with leaving six centimetres here. So what I do is seal off the end. A couple of stitches from that point there. So we're going from the bottom up across the ribbon make sure that your loop at uh, your knot in the end is firm oh, that's not going to be firm for me fee come on it's still pretty hard for me to feel anything in my fingers so you'll just have to bear with me there we go you just don't want the thread when you pull it to pull through which it might do actually a bit better a bit thicker right and we're going one two three four five six stitches roughly the same gap between them like that flip that over so you have made like a corner do two or three stitches across, whichever you want to do, whichever you can fit on. Across the fold. And we do six stitches again. Now your first, the first one we want four petals. Oh, you can do five. I might do five petal actually. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six stitches again. Oops. Flip forward, make your corner, one, two, three. So that's two petals, one petal, two petal. four, five, six, cut, seal, and don't forget you've got to go back down, so just a couple of stitches, that's all you need. Now you can start and pull these down, just pull them down. Don't pull them tight yet because you need to get them the right way around because they do twist. Now, I've got mine done, ready, and then I go back into where the knot is. And you've got that. They're all facing the same way. And then finger and thumb across and ease that into position and you end up with your flower. And then all you have to do is join them two pieces together. So that's one. Just got a couple of tacking stitches. Like that. And there you are. You've got your first flower. They're really nice flowers and they go well with that. So I'm just going to get, if I can, uh, get another ribbon i want one that's not quite i want one that's a bit wider that's it so this is the inch ribbon i've just used that that's the half inch this is the inch 
and we need to do the exact same thing again. back to the beginning hold it make sure they're all as you want them and then pull that flower in and then you just need to do your tacking stitch to add the two ends together like that and then snip and there you go you've got your other five petal flower there and I'm now going to attach those now this is where I've joined um, and that's also where I've joined so I'm actually I'm going to reverse it so join there and then on this one join this side it just fills out the flower so all I'm going to do is to glue the gathered section, pop that on like that and push it in slightly. Now with this one I'm going to use um, a decent sized pearl to be honest. Um, let me see. Yeah that's the size pearl I need so I'm going to have to cut that. What I'm going to do now is just, again, we've got this flower where we want it, yeah. Just do the inside of the flower. Let me get that on there properly, that's better. Make sure the hold's on the side and push that in slightly. And it, if you push down into it, it will help the, uh, the beads stick and look we've got a perfectly good flower for what we want that's it I'm happy with that and you only have to glue that onto you can stitch it if you choose to but I would just sorry glue that onto my linoleum linoleum crinoline <laughs> Because you, you do have to make sure you can cut around it once it's done to be able to stitch it or glue it onto your project. So that is now going to go right in the middle. So I want to make sure that everything else can stick to it. So that's our start. We're going to leave that there. Now, again, sorry I've got glue on me. Gooey! Stuck to my rings. <laughs> Um, not your thread again. Come here. Oh, come on. Ooh, loads of... You can really... Oh, I want to do the other one, don't I? I'm now going to do the bud. So in order to do the bud, I'm just going to cut... Oh, about two inches. And then fold that, fold that, over so I'm going to show you that I want a gap in the middle so I'm only going to fold it over like that so this top corner to reach the edge fold it over like that top corner to reach what would be the edge if it was you could see underneath hold it like that so you've got that gap there you'd have done well to done did you do my needle yes I did turn it over so you don't make a mistake now like I say I sometimes hide my stitching 
Just do a tacking stitch. Okay, and then stitch along that line. Just careful. Like that. See? And when you pull that in, you've got a bud. Like that. And then we give that a few tacking stitches. Like that. That'll do, that's fine. That'll do my bud. And I need to make two of those. Like that, that'll do. So that's my two buds that I need. Like that. They're fine, I'm quite happy with them. Um, I've still got enough uh, thread left, I think, to do my next one. So I'm gonna keep my thread. Again, knot it. Oh. Oh, come on, Fee. Like that. Yeah. Now, what I'm going to do... Oh, not that one, it's the other one, sorry. We're doing the same kind of flower. Now, you can't seal this off because it frays. One, two, three, four five six stitches fold that over one two I'm gonna do five lots of this because we need a nice full flower couple of tacking stitches and we need to repeat that again Hold them like that and pull the two together and then you can do your tacking stitch. Like that. There we go. Like that. So we'll just move that out of the way. Uh, right, now what we're going to do, I'm just going to move that out of the way and we're going to do some leaves. Uh, yeah. I'll do some leaves. Okay. Now, in order to do the leaves, I'm taking roughly four inches of this I might actually end up I don't think I'm going to need four well we'll do four inches and see how we get on and um, I've put the knot in now start where the opening is 
fold it in half okay and then fold that over do your tacking stitch you might want to do this differently but this is how I'm doing it like that and then sew up one side so go across it and then sew up one side and then before you get to the top fold that over and stitch into that so I'm going to show you that laid flat on my needle so we've gone folded over two stitches gone up the spine folded the end over to the to the edge see here and then we've done two stitches on that now when you gather that up you get that okay now I've used a light coloured thread which doesn't matter because I'm going to be colouring it so it doesn't actually matter to me so I'm just going to then open that leaf up see like that and open it wide up and crush it in your fingers because it's um, seam binding so it'll be fine I probably could have done my stitches a little bit uh, smaller to you know but I'm going to do that again anyway so we'll do that and show you again okay so about two inches uh, sorry about four inches cut okay let's have a look fold that over both you know fold both bits over and we can start and stitch that two stitches in there that's what I would do then you put that straight together up the spine fold that over at the top and then you stitch along that so it's like a pea do you remember peas in a pod that's what they remind me of pull it so you've got like an, a little arch seal that off snip don't worry about it if there's a little bit left over just snip it and then open it up and you've got a leaf like that see simple as that now we might need to make more of those I would say but um, in fact yeah let's do a, a couple we've got our flower um how did we do this all oh, right we put the leaves on first so i'm just going to add the leaves i'm not going to worry about color coloring them just yet i'll do that before i um cut this i'm pushing that leaf right in there like that like i say i could stitch them on but right now i'm not i'm gluing them and it doesn't matter it's fine either way do that I'm also going to add another one near that this one as well like so that's it that's fine love that now I do have to make the stems for these but we'll color the flowers i think next let's just see it might be the wrong color so i'm just going to do a test so i don't want to do the wrong color you know when you uh when you're coloring something in hmm i'm not sure well that's quite dark isn't it Let's 
we'll just see what that's like when it's dried. Do I want that? I'm going to choose this one. I like this one better. So that's my test over with. And all I'm going to do is just colour my flower. I'm just using the Copic markers. If you've got this one, it's E02. That's the one I'm using if you've got them. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's just dry these off a minute. They don't they only take seconds. Right. So now what we're going to do is to fit these into place. And um I'm going to have them in here. And again, I'm only gluing them because that's all I need to do. So I'm going to fit that in like that and do the same with this one. Let's fit it in like that. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Oh, that's quite pretty that. I like the colouring on that actually. Hmm. I was going to use these but I'm not going to. I prefer this one. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is make my buds. Now I'm just going to use this again, which is the um, binding, seam binding. Now all I'm going to do is to pop that in the middle, like that. I'm just going to curl that up a little bit, that bud. I might just do it like that, actually. So, we cross this over. Cross that over like that. I could stitch it, but I've chosen not to remember. And then what I'm going to do is to... See, that's got a nice little bud, which I'm going to keep that way, I think. But we just start to glue it on its uh, own. And if you pull it tight enough, you can make a nice little stem. So twist it, because that glue will soak into the lace and it'll make its own little stem. So again, just twist it. We don't need them too long because we're only having them to hang down. Like that, see? And I think that's uh, enough. They will go to making smaller leaves, so that's no problem with that. 
and we just need to seal this like that. Um, I am going to, however, bend that. <laughs> And I'm just going to pop this in here. Now, because I have to cut around it, I'm going to pop a little bit of glue to keep that shape. Like that. I'll keep that shape and that'll be fine. So we just need to do the same again with this. Remember, we're having to cut this as well. That's it, that doesn't have to be too perfect. Yeah, I like that. Now I'm just going to get a little bit of... Uh, let's have a look, see what, which one we want to use. I'm going to use um, these, I think. I'm going to use six stamen, but then when I've doubled it, there's 12. Like that, and then we just twist, and you've got that. And then just glue that on underneath, under here. Glue that on there. Now, what I think I'll do, now I can do it that way. I was going to cut them, but I'm not going to bother. Like that. Just put them in there, like that. And there, like that. And then, what I need to do now is to make um, some little leaves. Now, I need them. I just want to do like little bush things. You'll see what I mean. So I need four of those. Uh, oh, come out glue sticks. So 
So let's just do these. All it is, take in about three inch strip, four inch, um, and just sew in a straight edge. Keep them together like that on the needle. See, get it all together. Pull it, go back through it. That's it. I'm going to take my uh, pen, which I think this is the one I need. Just colour my stitches. And then all you do with that, glue it. And then I can pop that just as a filler in there. I'm going to do that again. So I'm just going to take a bit of the white a bit more than that that'll do Okay, do that. I'm just going to take the pen, which is this one that I chose to use. Let's get the needle out of the way. And that thread. Come here. Which, as you know, will dry in seconds. Oops. And we just take a little bit of glue, take the project, and I'm just going to push that under there like that that's better and that's really just set that off nicely I'm quite happy with that quite happy with it actually yeah right so next thing is cut it round what you've got try you know to not cut anything you've just made there we go we can't see anything And I'm just going to add that. To my project. To my bow. And that looks. Beautiful. <laughs> there we go. 
there you go I hope that's helpful um, they are really easy to make they're a little bit time consuming bit wearing on the hands but at the end of the day you know you've got to put the patience and effort into it I just love them thanks for watching take care and I'll speak to you all soon bye bye for now